In a previous video, podcast 237, I showed you how to create a note database, and these are all callouts that are connected to a note database. But what I thought I'd show you is how you can then report these in a format called a keynote legend. The first trick is that you need to control these and change these from a note, a callout note, to a keynote. That's this one here. So if I select all of them, and you see I've got quite a few of them here, we can convert all of them to keynotes. Now a lot of people don't like the note being written like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Now I need to exit my viewport annotation and come over here. So there are my keynotes here. And so you can see it generates the keynotes or the legend based on the notes. And I can also move them around. So I can uh, double click on this and I can move these up and down. So for example, if I want to start with my roof at the top, I can go roofing at the top there and then my purlins and then my rafters and so on. Okay, so I can change the location of those. But the other trick that I find really cool, when I create my keynotes, let's go back to here and I create this as a keynote, you might notice that when I create this keynote called, uh, I'll go back to the roofing, uh, let's go to, that's my pearl and that's my roofing there, this is my roofing, let's go to our notes manager and I'll show you what I've done. So I've created this roof note here and I've given it the description roofing at the top. Now this roofing description can be used as part of the legend. Let's just OK all of that stuff. Cool. Now when I go back to the legend and have a look here, I can have them by numbers. I can have them with a prefix. I can have them with letters. Now you won't see the change inside here until you go in and, and just update it. And let's go back to that. But my favorite is to use the note database because the note from the note database is the description that I put in at the beginning. So I've got things here called metal cladding, fascia, and so on. Uh, my spacing is going to be 1.2 to separate them a little bit. So that's a really great looking note there. You can see we can stretch that along. I can format this note. So let's have a look. Let's format the title text, 12 point aerial bold. Cool, that's great. Now I'm going to format the body text, which is going to be 10 point. And I want this to be Arial narrow, not bold. Okay. And so you can see there's my notes. So there's a great note there. Got lots of room for it. But the really cool trick I reckon is this, this technique of having a word here for Perlins and then over here, the description for what a Perlin really is. And I can move that blue dot back across. And so that's a really cool way of getting the note from here to be displayed on here. But I'd also like to go a bit further with this. So this is my general notes and I'm going to change the name of this and I'm going to call it my section notes. Section notes. Cool. I'm going to copy the section notes and I'm going to go to my elevations. And let's get rid of that note. And I've got some notes here. I'm going to get rid of those as well. So I'm going to show you how to put those in. So I'm going to paste that section notes here. So there are the section notes. It still says section notes. I'm going to change this to elevation notes. Elevation notes. Cool. Now I'm going back to my section to grab a copy of all of those notes. So I'm going to select all of these. Copy and exit that. Go back to my elevation. So I've got an elevation here. I'm going to add the notes to this elevation. I'm just going to update it first so I know what it looks like. Let's enter that. I'm going to paste all my notes in. There they all are. Now I don't need all of them. So for example, I don't need the purlins. The face will still be useful. The cladding will be useful. The studs, wall lining I don't need. Metal cladding, wall insulation I don't need the skirting. So these ones here, I'm going to change the notes because I really want those to be right justified. Now it can be a little bit challenging once you've done that. You've got to grab the, the right point to move the arrows around. I don't want studs. So let's just get all those, move them across there. And put my roofing on. Cool. If I just select one of those, 
if we have a look up here that the, the, the keynote legends just in this area here is connected to my section notes but actually I want to connect that particular one to my elevation notes this one I want to connect to my elevation notes as well cladding the same thing now I could have just selected all of them and done them all at the same time and what does that have an effect of now if, if you have a look these notes are now connected to this part over here now I've also got a whole lot of not not applied or non applicable that's these ones here and the reason for that is because I copied this elevation notes from somewhere else now I can reposition unused and I can also click on the remove gaps and it'll get rid of those gaps for me so that's a great way of getting your notes and these notes are now still connected together so those two notes are connected together if I place another note for example this one here we're going to put that one on now because I've dragged a copy of it where is it gone it's saying key uh, default legend I'm going to connect that to the uh, elevation and I'm going to double click on this and I want this to be my windows so let's just find my windows and doors this is a windows aluminium windows let's exit that and windows have turned up here so let me just double check that so that says default legend I really want that to be on my elevation notes I don't know why it doesn't want to stick um, but it does turn up on the right right one anyway when I go back to my section we should find that my windows are not here if I want to add the window note I'll actually have to go into here and add the window note specifically so let's just put a window note in here and double click so this is my windows and doors let's add my windows now let's just have a look at that so when I double click and edit it you might notice it didn't show up here where I expected it why not we have to check here and make sure it's on my section elevation on my section default legend and now it's turned up there on my windows at the top so I will need to um, edit this and probably pull those windows down to the bottom and put the roofing at the top where I wanted it and that should be better so that's a, a way of moving the notes around you've got total control over the order of these notes you can reorder them as you saw by dragging and dropping but I've now got two sets of notes one on my section one on my elevation and they are different one is notes just for my elevations one's note just for my sections they're picking up the same note from the same note database remember so if I change the note in the note database these will both update together now in the next movie I shall be looking at the general notes and a way of creating these general notes without putting the labels or without putting these callouts on the drawing